All right, what if you hit a confidence interval where you're given data? Don't look at that, that I got it wrong. <laughs> so a publisher wants to estimate the mean length of time. So we're doing a confidence interval about the mean. And you're going to do this just like the last video that I showed. The only difference is, is we would have to manually find the mean, which is not a problem. Or we could really cheat and just use StatCrunch. So I can open this data up in StatCrunch. Uh, I can go to stat. This is a Z. How do I know it's a Z? You need to start asking yourself that question because you know the population standard deviation. So that makes it a Z. One sample with data because I have data. So that's the difference from the other one. Variable one is my um, column of data. My standard deviation is 1.8. And I want a 90% confidence interval. So hopefully I did everything right. I get eight, what do they want? One decimal, 8.2 and 9.7. 8.2 and 9.7. Ha <laughs> ha, yeehaw. All right, if you want to do this in your calculator, la la la, then the first thing you have to do is actually get the data in there. So go to stat it, stat it. <laughs> Stat, go to Edit, Enter. There's some data in here, so I want to clear that out. All right, so I start typing in values 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 6, 7, 11, 10, 10, 12, 8, 11, 12, 6. Hopefully, I typed everything in correctly. I go to Stat, Test, Z Interval. Be sure, because usually the default stats, be sure you have data, because I put my data in. I need to change this to 1.8. Be sure whatever column you put your data in, mine was in the very first column, list one. And I went, what, a 90%, so that looks good. I hit calculate, and I get the same answer. 